guys, what is up, and welcome back to another video. And today, we're gonna be making some changes to our terrarium. Now, as you guys know, I set this up a while ago, and I was planning on getting a giant day gecko, but they're kind of hard to find, and I decided to change my mind and just get a crested gecko for this tank. So today, we're just gonna be changing this tank up a little bit, adding some live plants, some uh, new wood, and other stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, let's go ahead and get started. So right here we have a small little live plant that I wanna put in here, and we also have this hollow log, which is good for hiding. And then over here we also have all this other wood that we can work with too. So I'm gonna try to design uh, what I want the tank to look like, and I'll roll a time lapse and uh, show you guys. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take this moss and put it in this water and let it sit while I film the time lapse of uh, me taking all this stuff out. And then this way, it'll give the moss time to soak and uh, be ready for the tank. All right, now that we got the tank cleared out, I can start getting the plant and decide where I want to set it up and uh, how I want the tank layout. So I'm going to go ahead and start working on that. So the first batch of moss is all soaked and done. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that and start putting on, on top of the coconut soil. Then I'm gonna put another batch in here and let it soak. And then we'll just keep repeating the process. just got done laying the moss down so I'm gonna go ahead and take these dead leaves and kind of just spread them around on the bottom uh, just to make it more realistic and uh, a better environment for the gecko it also adds a little more cushion or a natural feel to the bottom as substrate Right, now that the leaves are in and the substrate's all done, we can go ahead and start putting the logs in. I did have to cut the logs in half so they could fit, but uh, this way now I have two hides for the gecko. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, try to fit these logs in and uh, see what looks best and go with that. All right guys, here's the finished enclosure. I think it turned out really good. It has lots of space to climb and hide. Uh, I really like the plants and how the logs uh, form like that little tunnel. There's also a little tunnel under there as well. But uh, overall, I think it came out really good. I also plan on getting a little ledge right here for the food that suction cups onto the side of the glass so he can eat up there. As we'll also use it as a little climbing cliff as well. But yeah, that's really it for the enclosure. I will be getting the actual gecko soon in an upcoming video, so definitely stay tuned for that. I'm also gonna be trying to uploading more. I did take a couple weeks off. Uh, I just wanted to have a break for a little bit, but I'm back and I'm gonna be trying to upload every now and then. So stay tuned for the next coming videos. But that's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.